Hey, how you doing? My name is Alex and welcome to Remix Reviews. Today I'm actually going to be talking about something that's been on my mind, you know, for a while now, especially if you're a Transformers collector. Well, primarily if you're a Transformers collector. And that is whether to buy third-party Transformers. Um, there's a lot of companies out there that make them. You have Fans Project, Fans Toys, I mean a lot. I'm not going to go through the list. It's just over the years, before you could see a third-party Transformer, uh, character that they picked and you could just tell like now nah, that looks shitty or that's kind of cool but really not my thing no lately they've been all these companies have been upping their game and especially in the masterpiece style size look uh they've been really doing good and uh takara has been taken forever every i love takara i always buy it they're especially their autobots their autobot line yes they do remold but they really make up for it when it comes to the paint, the detail, the small minor detail, and the head, totally acceptable, especially since that's what the characters look like in the cartoon. That's what we saw in G1 version toys, except totally on steroids. I love it. They're coming out with tracks soon. I believe Ironhide's next, and hopefully right around the corner after that, they take Ironhide and make him a prowl. As long as they're just doing that, that's awesome. The problem is they take forever to release their figures. Mind you, they probably do do better quality, uh, on some cases and they probably you know take the time to do that a little extra fine but these other companies are just doing such a great job in particular i did decide if, about uh, two years ago to buy my first third party which was um fans toys uh, uh forgot the name already soar that's oh or no that's i target scoria which is a dinobot um, i love it it came with some uh, lifters to boost up your MP uh, Grimlock, which I thought was awesome. Comparable was perfect. And they're coming out with the rest of the line. That's the line I plan to buy. And they also started coming out. Other companies came out. Bad Cube in particular, which is the figure I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to show you. Uh, they came out with their version of Braun. They call it Brawny. And it was just something I had to get. I can't see... Takara surpassing the image of this figure enough where I'm going to be disappointed. Will I get the Takara version if this figure ever comes out, if they make this character? Of course I will. Um, I think I'm getting to the idea where I'm going to probably have a third party shelf and a Takara slash Hasbro, however you want to say it, shelf, official masterpiece shelf, and do it that way, man, because... I love it that much and you know I see so many people especially on Facebook all my friends all these groups I'm in they you know they put their Takara and all the third-party stuff and you can't tell the difference it looks cool you got all kinds of companies out there um, if not, I, want to, I, I don't want to say better because Takara hasn't made a lot of the characters they're making but good enough and um, that's what I'm gonna review today I'm gonna review Brawny uh, from Bad Cube I picked him up recently and I love it, and I can't wait to show you guys. So I'll stop talking, and let's get to the review of Bad Cube Brawny. Here's a quick look at the box for that Brawny comes in. Uh, Demolitions box. I love the two-tone color, uh, same as his body, green and yellow. Um, on here, on the side, I love the image they use. As far as I could tell, that's right off of one of the cartoons, maybe even the movie. That's how close, in my opinion, they came to the image of him. Done by Bad Cube. Here they got his strengths, his intelligence, his speed. Down here, I don't know if these guys can see, it says punch first, ask questions later, and they got a little bio of him. I love that. They show you a quick little illustration of the truck and the robot moment. We'll get into a little bit closer. Uh, the code, Brownie, OSTST, whatever, OS, I'm the sucks, excuse me, OTS-2. Bottom is the same. I did purchase this for um, $90 even. It does come in a two set most of the time. They try to give it about, about 180. I think it comes with another figure. I don't remember the name just yet, but you can find him by himself. That's the one I enjoy, the one I remember, the one I like. So let's get this open because I'm very excited. So here's a closer look at Brownie. Um, like I said, I love the way he looks. Cartoon accurate wise, I'd say he's about maybe eight out of a 10. Uh, they did make it a lot more realistic and two. Uh, to make it look like a real car. I believe he was a little more squished in, but other than that, it's spot on. Uh, I love the yellow here on the hood, the green they chose, that army um, fatigue green, that dark green. I love it. The tires, 
look really good. They roll individually. They're plastic though. They're not made out of rubber. That's fine. <clears throat> Got the lights in the back. The doors, you can see, they don't open, but I love that they, they detailed it. Just gave it awesome detail all the way around. On this particular one, the rear view mirrors are on it and attached, which I really, really like. I think this figure is awesome in auto, uh, not robot, excuse me, in car mode. Also came with the drill. If you guys remember the episode where he actually uh, dug in, underneath the earth, I think he might have done it more than once fits right in there clips right in there at the front he comes down i thought that was a really cool touch also comes with this which it becomes his gun but it also becomes a tank uh i think what is a water i forgot what they put in there but oh gasoline sorry what am i talking about so i like that it attaches it's pretty cool um real quick came with the cards the instructions uh but uh we're not gonna need that i don't ever use that Overall, I love the way this car looks. I give it a 9 out of 10. Real quick, I'll compare it to an official uh, Takara side swipe, which I like. Uh, as far as the sides go, it looks pretty well evenly proportioned. I'll go right here. You could see that they're, oh, sorry. You could see that they're well sized together, man. I really like the proportion they give it uh technically he should probably be a little bit smaller but i'm okay with that uh, they look awesome together man i just think that when it comes for something like a third party that this really does this is really cool man it's really cool design it fits really well with the other takaras and i i just absolutely think i had i had to get it you know like i said i wasn't really jumping too much into the third party but for this, I just had to jump on it. So here's a great look at Brawny in, transform in uh, robot mode. I think he looks awesome. The only thing he's missing is his Autobot logo on his chest. Great representation. I love the yellow contrasting with the green and the silver on his um, arms, hands, and uh, his knees. It's just awesome. Even the side, not a little kibble. He looks lean, mean. The act is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, his gas can can be modified to cover... Uh, to put these in once his gun comes out which is uh part of the get hides in the gas tank to go on his back he could also modify it but i didn't have time and i didn't really want to because actually i don't mind it it looks cool like that but just so you don't lose him um <clears throat> overall he looks awesome the plastic is very well done um bad cube uh, came out with a huffer previously a lot of people complained. I never owned that one, so I can't really compare. Uh, I think they had changed their name also previously. But you know what? Uh, they knew their faults. They came out with a better product. And I'm really happy um, for the price range, too. It's not a big gamble if Takara does decide to make their version of this. Which, even if they do, I'm still very happy with this figure. I don't see them making it if they do not anytime soon. But, you know, it has everything you have. You can see the angle pivot just right here, the bend at the knee. Um, he does, his head does swivel pretty good. Um, he's got his basic moves, you know, the 360s. You could hear that. Nice hard joints coming out. You know, that's good. Uh, his hand doesn't swivel. His arm, uh, his uh, elbows just have the, uh, they're double jointed, so that's good. Um, you want a knuckle sandwich? I just used to love that. <clears throat> Gun fits perfectly in. You know, it does, it slides in almost like a masterpiece and you just close them. So, you know, all that's really, really well done, man. I really enjoy this figure. I didn't transform them. For me, that's half the fun. Um, you guys could follow the instructions if you like. I kind of just freestyle it. I like it. It takes a little longer, but it reminds me of what I used to do. I never really hardly read the instructions. So that's why I don't know. Here's a quick comparison next to Pro as far as size goes. I think uh, it's about right. Uh, I don't see it being uh, too off, you know, so I kind of had I like that he's a little bit shorter, but he's not too short, which I really enjoy. I think the only thing he's needing is an Autobot symbol, which I'll buy later, put it right there in the middle. And man, he's going to go excellent with my massive on my masterpiece shelf. I can't wait. I definitely recommend this figure. I think he's awesome. Um, if you're on the fence about whether buying third party, I'd say something like this is a good tester for you uh, buying it checking it out seeing if you like it uh, if not you know you could always wait and see what takara ends up coming out with you know um <clears throat> it's um for me it's bittersweet you know it's a catch-22 
Um, some of the things that you buy third party are probably going to be superior or uh, compared to Takara or they're going to be non-existent. Takara might not even make some of these characters. So you could either wait it or dip your foot in the water like I kind of have and just buy this and then some of the fans toys, uh, Dinobot versions of theirs, masterpieces, masterpieces. But um, I'm definitely going to say maybe um, try buy one piece, a uh, character that you like, a character that looks good. Maybe even this guy, because for me, this guy's top notch, man. He looks awesome. Hope you enjoyed the review. Please leave your likes and comments at the bottom. For everything Remix Reviews, please visit us at www.comicsremix.com, and we will see you next time. I cannot stay here too long before my machine friends will become nervous and do something rash.